Welcome to Book Buzz, brought to you by the Peter Central Public Library. I am Miss Shannon. And I'm Miss Linda, and we are here to tell you what's going on for the rest of January. Oh, Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year, 2021. Absolutely. Let's hope for something uplifting this year. Absolutely. We're going to have a good year. Yeah. Did you make any resolutions? Um... Well, I didn't, but then I was watching a Hallmark movie over the weekend about the new year. Okay. And the girl was doing 52 weeks for, 52 books for 52 weeks, and I thought oh, that was real cute. That is cute. Oh, yeah. good for Hallmark to push reading. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I didn't make any. As a matter of fact, I've been going against everything healthy that I was doing yeah. before to, you know, but it'll, it'll all... It'll be fine. I'm just hoping for a good, healthy year for everybody. For the world, yes. Yeah, for the world, exactly. We're all in this. I'm hoping that this passes behind us yes. as quickly as possible as we've talked. So I agree. I agree. Absolutely. So all right. with that being said, you got any um, good book buzz bits? Some good yeah, things you got to some know. Yeah, got to know good things. I do. And I know that um, I talked about this a little bit last time, I recall, but... Um, um, with the pandemic going on, I just keep, you know, looking at the stuff about what libraries are doing mm -hmm. and more and more because, you know, we know here that I'm going to be playing with this all day, you know, up and down with the mask, but, um, with, you know, and with the schools, how hard it is. One minute you're open for in-person, the mm -hmm. next minute you're closed. And for schools, then you're online and everything's virtual or maybe hybrid or, um, and for us, we're open, then we're curbside and then we're curbside and then we're, you know, it, it's just all, so it's different. Very and that's and why forth, I just yeah. am looking into what libraries, other libraries are doing besides, besides us. We know what we're doing and we can talk about that. Libraries are helping. Do we know what we're doing? <laughs> no. Hey, every day's an adventure, right? Yes. Every day's an adventure. We may not know what we're doing, but we we do know. We pull. Yeah, we do great things. <laughs> Libraries are helping communities cope in big and small ways during pandemic. This is an article um, written by Karen Dibus and doo -doo -doo -doo, from libraryaware.com, that's what it's from. Uh, from, oh, see, I like this too. And this is true with a lot, and I'm gonna fog up too. I still not, this mask thing, I know we're doing it to be healthy, but it's hard to talk and not fog up. Okay, so from outdoor pop-ups to free Wi-Fi hotspots to home delivery, um, I don't know if we've done any of that yet. Even parking lot movies, libraries. Now, this is talking about some libraries in Michigan have created hundreds of new programs and services to help their communities during this pandemic. Whether library buildings have reopened or not, library staff said that they are finding money in their budgets, seeking grants, and creating partnerships to find ways to give people access to computers, printers, and books, boost virtual programming, and offer events and other perks. So I don't know how they are giving people access to computers, you know, unless somehow, I mean, they're letting them in or not. So Do some libraries maybe circulate laptops? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or like, I don't know, we do all the e-readers and stuff right. too. This shutdown has been viewed as a dis disruption, but in disruption comes opportunity which is cool, that, mm -hmm. which is true. We've mm -hmm. talked about that last time, about the new things that we're doing and things that we would continue doing even when we're open. Right. Digital readership from libraries alone is at an all-time high. Uh, this guy was saying he's a spokesman for, of all things, Overdrive. Good. Yeah, that would be us, the <laughs> Overdrive, which partners with libraries to provide cardholders online access to eBooks, audiobooks, and magazines. Daily averages of digital checkouts are consistently 40% above pre-COVID periods. Wow, eBooks continue to experience over 52%. So of course, everything for them has gone up because of, mm -hmm. because of this. Um, okay, so they also go on to talk about 
Um, audiobooks checkouts have started increasing, so there are some more of those. Now, we, you know, just pulling ourselves into this too, we're seeing that here. I mean, I know that this is talking about Michigan in particular, but in at least in Pennsylvania, or we can say at least at the Peters Township Public Library, that we're seeing increases in all of this. Yeah. And I was talking earlier with Kelsey and saying, you know, um, we are doing curbside pickup, and yet we're like insanely, we're insanely busy. Yeah. It, it's just like we've said, it's in a different way. Yes. But we're still getting out there and we're, we're still there for everybody. The kids, the stuff that we're doing, which we will be showing, is amazing. Mm -hmm. So um, we're just learning how to do it in different ways, which has been a learning curve, but one that's going to, I think, just help us in the long run with all the different things. Yes, so I So I think it's all good. So I just wanted to throw a little piece out there. I'm not yeah. going to go through all of this, but just know that... It, but libraries everywhere are, are trying, mm -hmm. you know, we're here for a reason, pandemic or not, you know, so we find ways to adapt. Yeah. And like you said, a lot of the changes that we had to create, I think will still be in place even, you know, when the new normal, you know, happens. Yes, exactly. You know, yeah, like, and I, like, I'm not... like our virtual programming, it might not be as much as we're doing right now since it's our only outlet right now but right we'll still offer it you know periodically because we're able to reach so many people we never would have reached before exactly we've had yeah. so many nice comments right. from our our patrons with kids mm -hmm. you know the opportunity to watch it anytime they want they don't have to be here at right. an exact specific time mm -hmm. and it's all good stuff yeah yeah we've learned a lot yeah and even like our curbside service i, I don't see us getting rid of um that at least it might be a little bit different than it is right now but i think with something you know a service will continue to offer for people that that's most convenient for them i love it mm -hmm. yeah i do yep so we're trying yeah we I are we're so there too. for it's you just, it's different but it's it's all good right so okay. before i get into everything um you know i mentioned how in that the girl that character in that movie i watched over the weekend was reading 52 books for 52 weeks we are doing another reading challenge. Mm -hmm. So our most popular reading challenge is our summer reading challenge, which we do every year. Mm -hmm. um, but we still subscribe to our Reader Zone app, which we used for summer reading this um, past summer. So we're going to have a winter reading challenge. It's much more um, yay, simple, I guess, uh, I, is the term. I, want. I don't really know if that's the best term or not. But than it was for the summer, because it's just by the amount of time you spend reading. We're not, you don't keep a book log. Um, you don't have to add what books you're reading, none of that. Mm. You just, there's actually a stopwatch on your app. So when you pick up your book, wherever you are, if you can hit that and it will start to record how much you're reading or you can go back in and add that. So you can say, oh, well, you know, over the weekend, I, I, read, I sat um, on the couch, I read a book for a half hour and you can put those 30 minutes in there. So it's just about the amount of time spent reading. And we are um, giving away um, we have two prizes for um, our adult group and our youth group, which will be anything birth through teen. We're going to be giving away a Kindle Paper White. So we'll have two of those that we're giving away, one for adults, one for the youth. And um, we're just, just read as much as you can. And again, you can read whatever you want, even mm -hmm. if it's magazines, whatever you would, newspapers, whatever you're reading. We're just calculating the amount of time that you spend reading. And um, as of January 8th, this is our most recent update. Mm-hmm. We had 134 readers that have logged time with 40,614 minutes. So our goal for the library is we want to have 250,000 minutes, mm -hmm. but we are well on our way. Oh, you know, I, it's if, if only, only a week in, we have 40,000, you know, almost 41,000 minutes. So um, we, right now we have adults have read 23, almost 24,000 minutes. Our third through sixth graders have read almost 8,000 minutes. Our kindergarten through second grade have read almost 5,000 minutes. Mm. Our um, teens, our 7th through 12th grade, have read about 3,000 minutes. And our um, little ones, our birth and preschoolers, have read 1,500 minutes. So It's wonderful. Yeah, a lot of time has been spent reading and um, total as a group. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, it's neat to see how we kind of all come together to reach one, one big goal. And, again, you have a chance to win a prize. And it's really, really simple. So if you don't have the Reader's Zone app, you could just download that. The code, which I'm going to have Kelsey put up on the screen, too. I do not have. Oh, I do have it on me. <laughs> is um, 
B9DF5. Again, we'll have that up on the screen for you. So you can go ahead and just put that code in when you download the app and mm -hmm. it will automatically log you into our, our group so you can track the amount of time you spend reading for a chance to win a prize. I think it's great. And yeah. what a perfect thing to do. We're readers anyway, but we are inside more often now. Yes. We're, I hate to say, stuck inside. Mm -hmm. And um, hey, Curl up with a good book. I know yeah. for me, it makes me feel a lot better. So that's wonderful. Wonderful stats on that. Yeah, very that's cool. Great, very especially cool. for just starting. Yeah, right. That's only one, week one. So mm -hmm. that that's the. And I'm sure as of now, today when we're filming it, there's even more. Right. So, um, yeah. All right. Cool. Very cool. So starting with All our virtual right. programming. Yeah, let's go into um, programming. So you first. Coming up this coming week in a couple of days on the 14th. Um, we are having a virtual Hamilton sing-along for teens, um, 6th through 12th grade. And you do have to sign up because it's through Zoom. So you have to go online to, on our website to sign up, and then you'll get an email with a Zoom link to come on and sing with us. We'll do some mm. trivia. It's going um, to be a lot of fun. So if you are a Hamilton fan, which a lot of people are, and I feel like even more have become because of it being streaming now. Um, yeah. Love it. I feel like that was like one of the best things of the, of the shutdown was that Hamilton went that, on Disney Plus. That's true. I, I mean, you if anything good came out of 2020, at least it was at least a Hamilton that one. streaming. I know. Th thank you, Disney Plus, for doing that. And I'm I, yeah. serious. It yeah. really, really helped. Yeah. You know, to have something so special on. And I have to tell you, funny thing. Honest to God, I am as I swear on my mother's whatever. Um, Guess what I was playing on the piano this weekend? You work on Hamilton. You'll be back. Oh, cool. You know, I love that song. Yeah. You'll be back in all that. Yeah, that's, that's funny. That's what I'm, wor I'm working on some songs from some musicals nice. with my teacher, and that's one of them. That's so funny. Isn't that funny? Yes. It's like I laugh when I even just play it because I picture him. Yeah. You know, the king, they're just. He's, the, my, he's Justin's favorite character of the he's, story. He's mine Little too. trivia, do you know that the guy that plays the king voices Kristoff in the Frozen films? No, I did not know that. There you go. There's now I'm going to have to watch it again just to. I never would have known because they sound very different. Yeah. Like, like the, but it's the same person. Oh, cool. Thanks yeah. for telling king me. George I'll now have to Christoph. watch it again and try to listen. But I, I agree with Justin. He's my favorite yeah. too. Yeah, oh, he's so funny. He's okay. So funny. Okay, so. cool. And then. We're going to be doing for our teens. So we've been trying to make these fun little oh. kits. So there you oh. go, Miss Linda. We're going to do some art today. A little, a little Bob Ross moment, if you will. Okay. I want to see your happy but little clouds. Can I? Okay. So we're making DIY watercolor kits. Okay. Um, you'll get a little canvas, um, just perfect little size, mm -hmm. um, your own set of watercolors to keep. Linda and I. Na yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Miss Shannon. So you, you have a couple to, colors. You to better from. promise that the ones that we're giving out do not look like this. I have no blue left in here. I have green and yellow mixed. I have green mixed with orange. It looks like red and black. Oh hey, my God! Thank is, you for yeah, giving me well, the best pack. It, times are tough, Linda. This yeah, is what apparently. So You're, well, okay. If we're saving the good. Oh my God. And the brush is like you can't bend. <laughs> well, you gotta get it wet. That's why I gave you water. Oh, but that's hard there. All right. So, anyways, so you'll get a nice set of watercolors. Um, All right. They're either new or if they're not new, they're like very, very gently used. Um, they're not <laughs> like the ones that Linda and I have, which are very lacking of of color. And you can just paint whatever you want. There's really See? not many rules. It's just something like a nice little activity you can do. Yeah, but can I mention something? If you look at this beautiful piece of art so far, this nice Got little an green e on there. E, my brush was in the orange. <laughs> <laughs> I well, my I'm trying. With that. All right. I'm so. trying really hard to make something here, but it's All not, right. it's not going so great either. But I am not claiming to be an artist, so there will not be a video on how to do this that's up for you yeah, to figure out yourself your this creativity. is this is the video right here of linda and i um attempting your own creativity yes yeah, so you can paint whatever you want and then the color the paints are yours to keep and you'll have your own little canvas and um and yours will look better than ours because every color that i've tried to do turns out the same color 
I don't know if that's going to matter anyways with our artistic ability. Well, this is true. <laughs> I am so not an artist. There you go. I did a sunshine. Let me see. Oh, good. It was supposed to be yellow, but it's actually kind of like puke green, but you know. <laughs> yeah, like split pea soup or something. <laughs> All, All right. right. So there you go. So those will Thank be, you. you just sign up for those. They are, we, their supplies are limited. Um, so make sure you sign up. The best thing that you can do for any of our programs is to make sure that you are signed up for our youth services newsletter. Mm -hmm. um, Miss Carrie sends that out every Thursday morning. And on there, she always puts direct links to sign up for any of our virtual programming that would be for um, birth through teens. And you can just go on. And if you want to sign up for Hamilton, you can do that. Sign up for the watercolors or anything that we're going to talk about here in a little bit. Um, that's the best thing that you can do is to make sure you're signed up for that newsletter. Know what's going on. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Then, once you've come into the zen moment from painting, okay. you've been painting and you're feeling the colors and you're feeling the vibes. You're feeling like Da Vinci. Um, then you can quite... Quiet your minds down and your thoughts on Monday mornings at 9 a.m. We're back into one mindful moment. And you're going to quiet yourself, take some deep breaths, listen to a story that makes you feel good. It makes you want to do good. I call them my one mindful, kindful moments of the stories. And um, your children will leave with a great affirmation to carry with them all week. So this is definitely a parent-child you know, experience. Sit down and relax with them. It's going to be five to ten minutes tops, bit tops, and um, and it's just a nice moment that you can have every Monday, and carry that on throughout the week. Mm -hmm. um, I just love it. I do. I think it's nice to have something nice in your head to carry on and treat others well. So perfect. Yep. Those are, go up on our Facebook page every Monday at nine, but they mm -hmm. are on our YouTube. Page. So if you can't catch at that time, you know, the convenience is you can go on there and watch it whenever it works for you. Right. And again and again and again, because every morning you're going to want to hear that affirmation and feel good about yourself. Exactly. And, and help other people. <laughs> All right. So I brought one of the famous kits that we do, lunch break story times. This week is snow and snowmen. And you register online. And we get the kits ready for you. It is also curbside pickup, mm -hmm. just like the books. And let us know when you're here and what you're here for. And we will make sure that we run your kit out to you. So they go along with our themes. Yeah. And I, I did bring, I, I brought something because for my, I'm most excited about the theme. That I know you know what I'm going to talk about. But um, yeah, so you have kits to do like crafts and like fun worksheets or whatever about that theme. So it's free, and I'm so excited because the one theme that I wanted to do, which I was excited about, which is coming up, I don't know, it's for a few weeks or mm -hmm. something, I think. Yeah, pretty soon. Sloth. <laughs> I can't wait. Who doesn't love sloth? Oh, and I have to say, I saw these sloths. This one's called Sloth Wasn't Sleepy, but we're going to be reading books every day, Monday through Thursday. One of us from the children's youth services area reads a story that goes along with that theme. And that's why you get your kits, too. So we all pick books that we feel would be good and that we're authorized and allowed to read in public by publishers. Um, and I can't wait for Sloth. Sloth. <laughs> I was walking by, this isn't meant to be an advertisement or anything, but I was walking by the Hallmark store next Giant Eagle yesterday, mm -hmm. coming out of Giant Eagle, I looked over and they have sloths. And they have like their big, really nice furry, like you just, w I wanted to run in and buy a sloth, but I didn't. <laughs> well, but I just looked, it was like a zoo, a sloth zoo. A sloth zoo. Yeah. You so. know, you can like um, feed and pet the sloths at the aviary. It's, oh, can you? Mm -hmm. I don't, oh. I probably not right now. Oh, okay. But, and again, that's on advertisement. We are not being endorsed. Yeah. Too bad we're not, though. Man. <laughs> I know. I know. I love it. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So, anyways, and go, so lunch break story times. And then yep. we also have every day, Monday through Friday, um, weekdays, we're going to have our calendar time um, with, with me, Miss Shannon. And we talk about the calendar, the days of the week, the weather. 
Um, I usually would do something to throw in there about our theme. Like when we did snowmen, we did some different snowmen songs. Um, I guess I'll learn a sloth song or some kind of sloth activity um, <laughs> for when we get to sloths. But um, yeah, so you can, that's every single weekday mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. But again, they're up on your, they go up on our Facebook page at that time, but they're on YouTube for the whole month. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you, if Friday afternoon during lunch is a better time to do that with your child, that's perfectly fine. It's, it's there. Um, and we also do, every month we have our Facebook Live Family Trivia Night. So coming up in January on the 19th, we're going to have another one. And every one is a different theme, like around the holidays we did, um, like, I know for Valentine's Day, there's like a candy, there's a candy trivia. There oh, We've fun. done Harry Potter trivia. So you just go on to Facebook Live. Miss Sydney's on there answering, asking questions. Comment to her on the answers. Um, and it's a lot of fun to see see what kind of trivia you know. Yeah, I think so. it's cool. That's yeah. a fun, just a nice fun evening. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, tween book club doing it uh, different this round. So what you're going to do is you can starting I think like January 24th ish. Again, read the uh, newsletters. You're going to start picking up your books, and this book is called. The Girl Who Drank the Moon. And why I say pick up your books, the first five that register get a free book. Yeah. A free copy of to keep. complimentary copy a complimentary to keep. Copy. You don't have to return it of this book. And then you have a month to read it approximately. And then uh, February 25th at 4.30. So it's, you know, well after school hours. Um, we'll get on Zoom and we'll just talk about it. So uh, The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill is this month's selection. Make sure you register quick so that you can be get one of the free books. If you don't get one of the free books, guess what? Curbside service. Mm -hmm. yep. We have tons of copies available. Yeah, we do. Put it on hold and mm -hmm. we'll get it out to you. Yep. And real quick, um, our curbside services are, are whatever hours we were open before. So you can come from 10 to 6 Monday through Thursday, mm -hmm. 10 to 4 on Friday, and 10, or 9 to 1 on Saturdays and all you do is you have eight spots that are labeled very largely mm -hmm. pull into one of those spots and there's a number on the paper there just call that number and we will bring your items your kits if you have books on hold and kits we can give everything to you yep. at one time do it all and you once. can do your returns that way as well but we also have bins out in the front too yep so we um, are going to be oh, we make a lot of fun. things out of old t-shirts because I, that's like one article that we tend to tends to pile up in yeah. your closets and drawers because right. you get free t-shirts for different things or you buy t-shirts and then you don't want to wear them anymore or they get stained or whatever so many ways to repurpose them and one is you can make a scarf so this is one version but there's multiple ways and i'm going to do a little diy video for you all um, on how to make a scarf using a t-shirt we made a bag using a t-shirt earlier mm -hmm. um, Miss Sue made a really nice video on how to make a pillow out of a t-shirt both of those videos are still available on our um, YouTube page. So if you, you know, are feeling creative or you, you're doing your spring cleaning and you're finding a lot of t-shirts that you want to get rid of, you can repurpose them. So, and can I ask a quick question about that? Yes. Um, and who did you give that to? I did. Last year I made this scarf for Miss Linda. And so now you can have it back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She was taking it from me. I said, why are I you, you, like, you can't take it back. I need it for my sample. I might have to take it back again for my video. Oh, so wow. I'm going to be so decorated. All right. Yeah. So I've got this. And you can even I've tie like little sloth. pony beads on there. there. Um, you can do all kinds of cool things with that. Oh, so. yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'll have to watch it. I'd like to learn how to do this. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Huh. All right. All right. Thank you. And, oh... I have to bring this up, though um, it's full. Okay. Uh, hot chocolate bingo. We're doing hot chocolate bingo uh, this month. I, I didn't even put the date on here. It's, oh, a Monday. Uh, I think it's the last Monday of the month at like 6.30. It is a Zoom <laughs> um, live. We're going to be playing bingo, and you're going to get, they can pick up their bingo kits. Um, it is full. But I, I just mention it because I like people knowing what we're doing. Yeah. You know, it, even though you can't register for it at this time, know that we are doing things. And you know what? It's so popular. Maybe we'll do it again. Yeah. You never for know. Sure. 
Yeah, so it's a fun event for I think it'll be really neat to see how that oh, works out. Oh, absolutely. See how the kids do. There'll be prizes and, you know, we'll, we're just going to have fun and drink hot chocolate. Yes. Lots of hot chocolate. Yeah. All right, do you have any uh, you want to share any books with you? Do, do you, you have, have one? one? I've been talking a lot. Okay, this is a, this is crazy one. Wait, is it this oh, one? Oh, I brought my mug. Did oh, you, you bring did? me hot chocolate? I did. <laughs> Is this one that's still, there it is. Still, still fresh? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Look at the re There's no date on it, so I'll But you know you. what? I just bought three. I have boxes. my, so this is one of our crafts oh, that we've done before. I remember that. Well, with our Cricut, we made our platform nine and three quarters mug. So maybe that's something that's to come. Maybe we'll have a, we'll yeah. take and make mugs and give you a couple of decals you can try out. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. That was popular. Mm hmm Yeah. That was that fun. Was a special one. Excellent. Um, this is, this I found, you know, we were talking about things that you just wonder how these stories came about and mm -hmm. now we're in the middle of a pandemic. Jennifer L. Holm, The Lion of Mars. And I just want to read a little bit. Um, besides spending his whole life on Mars, Bell, Bell is just like any other kid. He loves cats, eats all kinds of Cake is curious about everything, like why do teenagers act so weird, and why did his best friend Trey suddenly want to switch rooms? But most of all, Belle wonders about the secrets the adults keep. Why does the U.S. colony have contact um, have contact with anyone in the other Mars settlements? Is it really so dangerous out there, and why are they always alone? Now, this is the part when a virus breaks out, mm. and the grown-ups get sick. But Belle and the other kids are oddly immune. And soon it's up to Belle to find his courage, uncover the truth, and face the terrifying unknown to save his family. Wow. So. Interesting. Yeah, it is. You, you were talking about one like that with uh, the teens, one of the teen books with. There's a bunch of teen books yeah. about. There's one I was looking at this morning called Plague Land, which is about, which I didn't bring, but yeah. it's about. Um, this virus and it keeps mute, mutating too and so it's taking uh -huh. over everything and yeah. just like ha yeah it's happening it's crazy it's crazy um so this is a brand new one we don't even have a catalog yet but it will be by the time you um see this it's part of the um the dc icons series so they're all based upon um dc comic book characters yeah. or characters that um like a spinoff of a character. So this character takes, um, she lives in Gotham City. So what famous DC comic character, a little trivia, lives in Gotham City? Batman. Okay, good job, Ms. Linda. Thank you. Oh, God, I was sweating it out. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Dinah. And um, so this book um, that takes place in the future. And in this future world in Gotham City, women mm. have no rights Ooh. again. Um, uh. So it's returned to that type of a world. And... Um, her name is Black Canary, and mm. so she's not, women are not allowed to really speak. They're definitely, like, they're not allowed to sing. And one day, she hears something that's impossible. She hears the sound of this girl singing, and it has, um, so she now, like, that's something that's, like, kind of changed her life. And so now she's kind of fighting this woman's rights, and um, it says, when everyone around her is silenced, she must fight to step up and stand out. So um, she's you know really kind of trying to stand up for for the women in her community and um in gotham so who knew that ba after batman's gone that wow. this would happen i wonder what, how catwoman would feel about this yeah i don't know so i think of what what i think is cool with that one and the one that i just talked about is in both and this also is is going to be cataloged is um you, you know, yes. the characters saving, you know, the world saving, somehow. Saving them, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, that they, one. They save the adults, Saving too. the women to, mm -hmm. you know, be able to talk. And this one, saving kids and everybody from um, pandemics and yeah. viruses. For and sure. Whatever. So, I don't know. I think we only have a few seconds left. But um, do you have another one? Do you want to show real quick? This one I'll just do real quick. I'll just say it's okay. called The Brave by James Bird. And um, the, this is one. It's just Colin can't help himself. He has a unique condition I won't, that leads him to count every letter spoken to him. So it's a quirk. Um, it's about Colin and his, and his father sends him off to live with his mother. 
um, and what happens from there. And she lives in Minnesota, part of the um, one of the Native American tribes in oh, Minnesota. Interesting. Yeah. Um, this one is Alex and Eliza, which we've read before, but with, I know when I talked about the Hamilton program coming up, I decided to bring this again. If you're looking oh, for a fun series to read for the Winter Reading Challenge, or if you've now seen Hamilton because it is streaming, um, and you haven't, and you want to read some more about Hamilton, this is a great fictional series about Alex and Eliza's relationship together, both, um, before, like this, the first one is about about their courtship and how they kind of met. Um, it's fictional, but it's I um, loved it. It's really great. I yeah. enjoyed those. Yeah, I, I did really too. Did. Yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah, another good one to can read for to, if you're still still in the Hamilton camp. Very good. So that's it for what's left of January, yeah. and we'll see you soon for oh, wow for February, yeah. right? Valentine's. Yeah, for Isn't Valentine's right? in the month of love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy New happy Year! Happy New Year!